Hi, sweet friends. It's Ashley Clark with Earthkeeper Yoga, and I'm here in Birmingham, Alabama. It is a rainy, cloudy, cold day, and so that has kind of determined what type of practice that I would like to um, come to my mat and then in turn offer you. So just know that we're going to take it super gentle today. I'm going to invite you to have a couple of blocks and you will want your trusty blanket. So grab what you need, wear comfy clothes, and meet me right here on the mat when you're ready. All right, sweet friends, as you are ready to begin our practice, I want to let you know that the theme for this class is finding your rhythm. So we have a propensity when we feel anxious or stressed or hurt, any kind of grief, anything like that, we have a tendency to avoid it. And it actually suppresses into our physical and emotional body. And we just carry that around with us. Anxiety and stress, we have a tendency to hold in a clenched jaw, a tight neck, upper back is nice and tight. Well, it's not nice, but it's tight. And then if we've been dealing with grief or heavy emotions, we carry that down in our hips and our thighs. So I'd like to offer us a very gentle practice today to get back into the rhythm. We don't necessarily have to sit with grief or heavy feelings or just sit with the anxiety, but we can acknowledge what it is and we can use our breath and yoga to bring us back into a more natural rhythm. So as we begin today, I thought we could start on our backs. So I'm going to invite you to go ahead and roll down onto your back. Keep those knees up towards the sky. And as you come on to your back, knees up towards the sky, let those arms come into a nice big T. Take up some space here. And allow yourself just a few breaths, a few little fidgets of the body to just come into this space. Allow the mat to take your weight, your physical weight, the emotional weight. And the mental cobwebs in your mind, let it take all of that. And know that you are safe right here, right now. Go ahead and let the breath get a little bit deeper. Let that breath start low, deep in your belly. And then slowly crest up just like a wave all the way up beyond your heart up to the collarbones. Note the pause with the breath. And then as you exhale, let the heart lower, the ribs lower, and the belly sink in. Stomach muscles even engage just a bit as you press that breath all the way out. Give yourself three more rounds just like that. After you complete that last round, take an inhale. And as you exhale, engage your core muscles just enough to lift your knees and then extend the legs all the way up towards the sky. Go ahead and circle those ankles. Point and flex the feet. And notice if that tension in the jaw has allowed you or invited you to rather just clench your teeth if it has relaxed the jaw 
You can bring the top of your tongue to the roof of your mouth with the tip of your tongue just behind your top teeth. It helps in engaging through the core. And give it one more breath. And beautiful, bend those knees. Let the soles of the feet come back to the mat, but let the outside edges of your feet come even with the outer edges, side to side. Make sure you're square in the middle. We'll take an inhale, and then exhale. Let those knees fall over to the right. Press that interior leg down towards the mat. Inhale here. And exhale through center. And over to the left. You can inhale through center and exhale the knees over to the opposite side. And press the breath out as you press the knee down. Nice and gentle, moving through three more breath cycles. Try not to hold your breath. And move through your last round. And then we'll meet with up towards the sky. Shimmy those feet so the heels are under the knees. Send the arms up towards the sky. Settle the shoulders down towards the mat. Take an inhale, open the arms wide back into that T. Exhale, bring the hands back together. Maybe the palms touch. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, palms come together above your head. And give it one more round. Bring the hands behind the low thigh, right behind the knee. And we're going to rock and roll. Give yourself three times. We're going to rock and roll up the spine. And we're going to end with the knees extended and a nice tall spine. So once you find that, go ahead and extend that right leg long. Keep the left knee bent. You can interlace your fingers, put it right around that left knee. Take an inhale, reach through the crown of the head. And give it one more breath. Let this right hand stay on the left knee. Take an inhale. Circle this left arm up towards the sky. And then exhale. Let it come to the mat behind you. Press the left hand into the floor. Gentle twist. Maybe the chin comes down towards the chest. Last breath. Bring the head back up, and then take an inhale. Circle this left arm back forward, and then you're going to let mm, face you. Let this left knee fall out. And as you get that left knee falling out to the left, the inside of the left foot is inside of the right thigh. Now maybe the hands come down right outside of your hips and pick up your hips just to send that right hip back so the hips are nice and square. Take an inhale. Let the arms and gaze lift. 
And then exhale, give yourself a gentle forward fold, just feeling into what's there. Hands can come to the mat. And once you get there, send the crown of your head away from you and press that left knee down towards the floor. Notice if there's any tension in your jaw or your neck here. Breathe through it. Finding the ease. One more breath. Use your hands to walk yourself back up. And we'll extend this left leg long. That right knee bends, right sole of the foot down to the mat. Give yourself plenty of space for the belly, for the breath. And then interlace the fingers. Put them right below the base of the right knee. And then inhale to reach through the crown of the head. You can keep this left foot flexed. Left hand comes onto that right knee. Nice big inhale. Right arm circles up and comes behind you for a gentle twist. So keep the length through the spine here. Maybe this time look left to right. And give it one more round. Take an inhale, reach this right arm all the way back up, and then let that right knee fall out to the right, right sole of foot inside of left leg. Again, I'm gonna lift up just enough to bring that left hip back in line with the right. Fresh inhale, let the arms and gaze lift. And exhale, forward fold. Keep that left foot flexed if you can. Reach through the crown of the head. And relax the shoulders. Last breath. Let's walk those hands back up so that we're back and seated. And then we're just going to spin around and make our way into table. So you could put that blanket under the knees. We're just going to warm up the spine a little bit. So those hands are right under shoulders, knees right under hips, tops of the feet on the mat. Let's take an inhale, reach the crown and the tailbone up towards the sky. Hold it here. Feel that stretch through the torso and the throat. Give it a breath. And then inhale here. Exhale, round chin and tailbone in. Hold this a breath. Inhale, start to lift crown and tailbone up towards the sky. And exhale, let it all round in. Pressing that breath out through the deep low belly, just like we did when we were on our backs against the mat. Nice and slow. Keep your awareness on the rhythm of your breath. Give it one more round. Make your way back into your neutral table and then walk your knees so that they're touching in between inside of the legs. Go ahead and start to swing your hips side to side. And don't worry about curling the tailbone or keeping it neutral. Just see what comes naturally here. Now curl the tailbone in. Do the same thing. Notice how it gets just a little bit deeper into the low back and into the IT band, 
the hip flexors. You're just taking it. You can feel that stretch all the way down to the knees. And finish out that last round. Come back to your neutral table and then send the booty back down towards the heels. Completely rack, relax into the mat here for child's pose. Give it one more breath. Let's move from our child's pose back into table. Reach through the crown of the head, reach the tailbone back, take an inhale, exhale back to child's. And press the breath all the way out. Inhale, back into table. Exhale to child's. Allow yourself to sink into each posture. Don't shortchange yourself as you exhale back into child's. Release wherever you can. And notice how it helps you extend that exhale. Notice how it informs your inhale of how deep you need it to be as you fully release it in the exhale. So just creating that rhythm, give yourself two more rounds. Beautiful, let's inhale back into table, curl toes, exhale, find a down dog. And so you can pedal feet here. If this is too much or more than you want for the day, stay in table, move through some more down dog. And give it one more breath. Let's walk hands back towards feet and meet at the back of the mat in a forward fold. And big bend in those knees. Take an inhale halfway, find a long spine. And exhale, release back down towards the mat. Inhale down low. And exhale, give yourself a slow rise, nice and slow. Feel those feet connected to the earth. Come to rise. Settle the shoulders, find some length through the spine. And give yourself a body scan from the soles of your feet up to the crown of the head. Soften those knees. Take up some space. Take an inhale, arms and gaze lift. Exhale, palms come together down in front of the heart. Bow, chin to chest. Give yourself two breaths right here. Take an inhale, lift the arms in the gaze. Exhale to bring the gaze back forward. Hands stay together. Take an inhale. And then exhale, slowly let those right hands go over to the right into a little mini over side bend here. Feel what's going on on that left side body. And notice if there's tension in the jaw and the neck. If this hurts the low back, tuck your tailbone in just a bit more and bring the tongue back to the top of your mouth. Inhale. 
exhale, we'll move all the way through center. And reaching over to the left, feeling all of that goodness on the right side. Inhale through center. Exhale to bring the pan uh, palms, excuse me, the palms back down in front of the heart, bow to the chest. Give yourself two breaths. Beautiful. So this next one, we're going to walk through it together. We'll do one cycle together, and then I'm going to invite you to find your own rhythm and move through three or four times all on your own. So it'll begin like this with hands at the heart. We'll take an inhale, lift arms and gaze. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, release back down towards the mat. Inhale, down low. And exhale, slow rise. Fresh inhale, arms and gaze lift. And exhale, hands come back down in front of the heart. And give yourself a breath. So we've practiced having those nice, big, deep inhales and trying to match the exhale that so you can ex get rid of every last little droplet of air that you're holding in. Keep the breath through the nose, inhales and exhales. Here we go with four rounds on our own. Inhale, arms and gaze lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale to release. Inhale, down low. And exhale to rise. Hands next to the hips. Start from here. Inhale, arms and gaze rise. Exhale in front of the heart. Three more rounds. You can meet with your hands in front of your heart. Give yourself two breaths. Know where you feel more at ease, more in touch with that breath, that rhythm of the cycle. Take an inhale, lift the arms and the gaze. And exhale, forward fold. So here's two or three breaths. 
and just decide to side sway. Keep, just keep some softness in the knees. That helps protect the low back. After that last little shimmy, if you've got a blanket down on the mat, you can move it out of the way as you walk those hands forward. And as you make your way into your down dog, go ahead and move forward into a plank, lower all the way down to the mat. Let the tops of the feet come to the mat. Send this left arm long above you, right arm out to the right side. Let the left cheek come down to the mat. If that is not available for you, get one of your blocks or that pillow, even the blanket, and let it rest right under that left cheek. Notice if this caused you to clench your teeth. Bring the top of your tongue back to the top of your mouth. And give it one more breath. Go ahead and bring this right knee up, even with the right hip. Gentle opening here for you. Reach the right hand back up over your head as the nose comes back down towards the mat. And then walk your hands back, creeping, if you will, to let those elbows come under shoulders. Awareness to the left booty cheek. Take an inhale, let that, all of that relax. And then press into the elbows to lift through the crown of the head. Gentle stretch through the torso. Breathing in and out, two more breaths. Slowly walk the hands back down. That right hand and the left cheek come back over towards the right. Slowly lower that right leg long behind you. And then we're going to change sides. So the right arm comes up above your head. Left arm out into a half T to the left. That right cheek makes its way to the mat or to a block. Something to find ease here, melt into the mat. Bring the left knee up outside so that it's even with your left hip or close to it. Turn the nose towards the floor as that left arm reaches up above your head. And then use those hands to get those elbows under the shoulders. Release through the right hip. Inhale. And then exhale to press the elbows into the mat as the crown of the head reaches up. There's a stretch right there in that right side body. Release there. Feel the breath in the belly. Slowly start to walk those hands back forward. Lower that right cheek back down to the mat or to your prop. Left arm out to the left. Go ahead and send that left leg long behind you. And then move both hands under shoulders to press in and send the hips back to find a child's pose. One more breath. Go ahead and move through your table. Find your down dog. We'll only be here two breaths, keeping it nice and gentle here today.
Let's make a slow walk up to the top of the mat. Meet there in that forward fold. If you have blocks, this is when you want them nice and handy, right in front of your hands. All right, keep your hands on the mat. Send that right leg long behind you and then sink the hips down. If it's easier to stay here by bringing blocks under the hands to give yourself some more length, do that. We're just going to inhale and then exhale to sink the hips. You could always lower this right knee as well if you need to. Inhale, exhale, sink. Inhale, lift. Exhale to sink. Two more. Last one. Beautiful. Move the blocks out of the way. Energy into the ball of that right foot. Let's come back to the top of the mat. We'll meet in that forward fold. Let the breath go. And go ahead and step the left leg long down the mat. You can bring those blocks on either side of that right foot. Sink the hips down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale to sink. And press that breath all the way out. Try not to let that knee go out further than the heel forward. Just pressing that breath out of the hips. Give it two more. Notice if there's tension in your shoulders and in your neck. You can move those blocks out of the way. Energy into the ball of that left foot. Let's meet at the top of the mat in a forward fold. Let that exhale go all the way. Inhale, halfway long spine. And exhale, release down towards the floor. Inhale, down low. And exhale, let's take a slow rise. We'll meet in mountain. Center the breath, center the body. One more breath. Take an inhale, reach the arms and the gaze up. And then exhale, let those palms come down in front of the heart, bow, chin to chest, give yourself a breath. Inhale, arms and gaze lift. Now exhale, palms come back together, exhale, hands in front of the heart. Two more, just like that. Inhale, lift it up. And exhale, bring it in. One more. Just staying with the rhythm of the inhales and exhales. Inhale, arms and gaze lift. And exhale, slowly, slowly, slowly start to fold forward all the way. Let the breath go nice and slow. Step your feet back, make your way back into a down dog. Two breaths right here. Beautiful. Lower those knees down to the mat. 
Swing those feet over to one side. We're coming back to sitting on our booties. Super gentle class today. And we're going to start just like we, or we're going to do right, right here what we did at the very beginning of class. So we're going to start by bending this left knee. And we'll interlace those fingers, bring it right below that left kneecap. Press the tailbone into the floor, ripple up through the crown of the head to find the length through the spine. Make sure that that low tailbone isn't really rounded, so you really press the tailbone in. And then we're going to take that right hand right outside of that left knee. Inhale, big circle with the left hand. Bring it behind you. Keep the spine long, right foot flex. Take an inhale. And then exhale, send the nose back towards the left shoulder. Use that right hand to remind this left knee to stay in and up towards center. One more breath. Inhale, reach that left hand up. Come back all the way towards the front and then lower that left knee out to the left. Left sole of the foot comes in towards the right thigh. Pressing up just to lift the hip just a bit and we'll find center. Inhale, arms and gaze lift. And exhale to find a forward fold. So we want link through the spine. The goal of this is to be in touch, not to touch. So be right where you are. Stay with that breath. Notice what the exhales tell you. They may let you know that you've gone a little bit too far into the stretch. Maybe it's a good idea to back off just a little bit. Maybe you're right where you're supposed to be. Meet yourself there. And go ahead and walk yourself back up using your hands. We'll send the left leg long. Bring this right knee up. Wrap those fingers together right at the base of the knee and reach through the tailbone all the way up to the crown of the head. Flex that left foot. Find the link through the spine and notice the jaw. See if the mouth is nice and relaxed. That's how we want it. Let that left hand come outside of the right knee. Inhale, big circle. Circle it back. Right hand comes to the mat behind you. Keep the link through the spine. Fresh inhale. And then exhale to look over that right shoulder. Stay with the breath. Notice where the constriction is. Notice where the ease is. Last one. Inhale, right arm comes all the way back up. And then we'll lower that right knee out to the right. Right sole of the foot inside of the left knee. Hands come down just so we can center those hips. Flex the left foot. Inhale, arms and gaze lift. And then exhale to fold forward, keeping the length through the spine. If you feel like you rounded the back at all, so I'll show you. This would be rounded, right? Because you're just trying to get down there. Link through the spine and then fold forward. You're feeling it in the low back and in the hamstring. If this is as far as you go, you're still getting the stretch and that's what we want. You don't need to be all the way down touching the torso to the thigh. So let's come out and do that together again. Inhale, lift the arms and the gaze. And then exhale to find your forward fold. Reaching through the crown of the head, sending the heart forward. See if you can relax that left knee just a bit. And give it one more breath. And 
You use your hands to walk yourself all the way back up. I'm going to spin all the way around. For this next one, I want you to grab both of your blocks from the top of your mat and put them even with your hips. And then you can roll down onto your back. Bring the inside edges. and you st So hopefully where you are, you can still touch the blocks. So bring the inside edges of your feet together. And then slowly let the knees fall out to either side. So you've got those blocks there that you can let the knees rest on so that you can completely open through the legs. If you're super flexible, over flexible, you may not even need the blocks or maybe you wanna change the setting of the block so that it's a little bit smaller and just let the knees fall out. So once you find your spot, Send those arms back into that T. Give yourself a nice big deep inhale and exhale through the nose. And allow the blocks to take the weight. Allow the mat to take the weight. There should be no tension in your low body whatsoever. Stay with those same nice big deep inhales and exhales. Give it three more breaths. After your last exhale, reach those hands down, bring the knees back up towards the sky, and then position the heels underneath the feet. You can let go of one block, a hand on the other block. You're going to take an inhale, and as you exhale, press the pelvis up just enough where you can bring that block right under the sacrum, that little triangle spot right at the base of your spine and then slowly release back down so that you feel your hips open. So from here, to keep any low pressure off the back, you may wanna shimmy the feet out wide and let the knees fall into one another. You'll feel it a little bit deeper through those hip flexors when you do that. You can send the arms back into that T, let everything go once again. Stay with the breath. If your mind starts to wander, come back to the breath. Stay with the rhythm of your inhales and exhales, nice and deep.
And give it two more rounds. Slowly bring those knees back up towards the sky, heels under knees. Hands can come down, one hand comes to that block, inhale, press into the feet just enough to move the block out of the way. And then you're gonna bring the knees into the chest, let the, or bring the knees up towards the chest, let the knees fall out to either side. See if you can clasp through to let your hands interlace, your fingers interlace one more time with the knees out to the outside the ribs feet in towards center. So just feeling a stretch through the groin. Notice if you've got tension in the upper back and in the neck here. And give it one more breath. Release what you've got and then give yourself six or seven breaths for whatever would feel good that I didn't offer before we make our way into the last part of class. Just another breath or two. Now I invite you to find whatever Shavasana may look like for you today. You could be seated, you could just be lying on your back. You could swing your legs up the wall, whatever feels most comfortable for you. And wherever you are, bring awareness to the length of the spine. With the shoulders relax. I invite you to four more rounds of that Nice, big, deep belly breath that starts down low and then crests all the way up to the collarbones and back down. Four cycles beginning now. Inhale. After you exhale that last full round out of your body, return to normal breath and rest.
you can slowly start to bring some awareness back into this space that we have created together. Begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Circle your wrists and your ankles. Reach your arms up over your head. Give yourself a full body stretch. Point the toes, reach the fingertips. And then as you're ready, you can roll on to one side or the other. Bring the knees up towards your chest. Give yourself a little hug right there. Honoring the work that you have done for yourself today. And I'll meet you back in a comfortable seat with hands together at the heart when you're ready. So our quote for, close, for closing today is by BKS Iyengar. And so that's a, a yogi. <laughs> and I love this expression. It says, the rhythm of the body, the melody of the mind, and the harmony of the soul create the symphony of life. May you know that rhythm. May you know that melody. And may you feel that harmony in your soul. Until we meet together again, gratitude for practicing with me. Namaste.